Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whoever stopped by, welcome. Welcome to your July reading or whenever you're listening to this, the next five weeks. It is written in the stars. I feel like this is a month of destiny. This is a time of, of your destiny right now. So we're going to tune in to you and your person of interest for you on your personal journey and also the Twin Flame Soulmate Divine Partner journey. What are you finally breaking free from? And what is your person finally breaking free from? What are you finally breaking free from? Indecision, stalemate. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So you're making decisions. No longer going back and forth. No longer thinking about it, wondering about it. You're just making the decision. No more wishy-washy energy, right? Pride, stepping into your power. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Perhaps there was other people in your life that kind of made you feel indecisive because they're wishy-washy and they just weren't sure what advice to give you. And you're, you're kind of seeing yourself in everyone, that everyone has a little bit of this, right? So you're not being so hard on yourself and you're learning to trust your intuition. And being proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. Taking pride in what you do. Deciding to move forward out of fear and, and ego, right? Loving yourself, sharing that love and success. Wow, you're, you're breaking free from the indecision, making decisions to love yourself, see yourself in everyone, and then you're moving towards success. So whatever you're making a decision on, it's gonna be successful. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Yeah, you're, you're, you're finding that success comes from love from loving yourself, from making decisions that are highest and best for you and everyone else involved, right? That's where your success is coming from. So breaking free, take a charge. What about your person? Moving towards happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So choosing the path of happiness and growth, surrounding themselves by like-minded people, getting out, having fun, Finding the joy in life again. Breaking free from any kind of loneliness and sadness. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is it loneliness and sadness? And then look at the card that comes out. Yeah, this is the main message for your person. I know that I'm never alone. I'm always connected to the divine. I have people that love me, friends tribe, my tribe, my sisters, my brothers, you know, all around the world. And you see all the dolphins, how there's like a bunch of different dolphins. So your person is realizing that they're never alone. And there are people that actually bring them joy and happiness and empower them and, and support them and uplift them. And they're moving towards this happiness, like happy times, celebrations with friends, like things like that. Coming out of isolation. Um, too many, but courage, growth, and perseverance is coming out. So stepping into their power, really growing. And then this envy comes out. So they're releasing this envy, this thinking that everyone else has more than they do. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. We all have challenges. We all have things that happen in life, contrast that we learn from, that we grow from. So your person is really stepping into their power. I think, I feel like what kept your person stuck before is they, they were focusing on the lack. They were focusing on, wow, I got to do this alone. This person, that person, they have all the support. They have their partner. They have these good business people, the good people that they work with. And your person was just envious like envious of everyone else, feeling like they were so challenged and everyone else just had the good life. But finding out that when they reach out to people, when they really get to know people and they open up that, that other people have these same issues, you know what I mean? Have challenges, maybe not exactly the same situation, but they have challenges. And so now realizing that moving towards happiness out of this envy, out of this loneliness and moving towards happiness and joy, focusing on abundance instead. What's tying you together? 
of what you're breaking free from is this insecurity, not feeling good about yourself, stepping into your power, having courage, strength. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, yeah. Facing those fears, the, the illusions, believing in yourself, believing in this connection, believing in your ability to move forward and how strong you are. So be proud of yourself, right? You're moving towards uh, successful times, feeling more confident. And what energy is assisting you and your person with these magical dimension cards? What energy is assisting you during this time period? Beautiful Sagittarius, beautiful Sagittarius. A Gaian awakening, Mother Earth Gaia is assisting you with manifestations, personal power, preparing you for relocation, ascension. So you're going through another awakening and I feel like maybe perhaps the indecision was, I want to relocate. I want to do something different in the material world, different in my job. I want to move towards love. I want to move in with a person. I just want to move on and relocate, ascend, grow. So spirit, mother earth is preparing you to make this decision, to take your power back with that aid energy and move forward. Move towards success reaching your goals, reflection. I always feel like the Gemini twins, this reflection energy, as we move out of Gemini season into cancer season, it's like reflecting on what you've learned, a new identity, self-love and acceptance, accepting yourself, accepting your twin, your lover, your mirror image. 31 is a four, that's stability coming in. And I feel the energy of since July is 31 days that really truly by, by the end of July, there's something, there's some kind of truth being revealed, some kind of communication. And, and it's part of the awakening. Wow, it's really beautiful. preparing you for August. I don't, they're giving me timing for you. So 31, like the, by the 31st, like some kind of decision being made to prepare you for this eight energy, which is August. So, wow. Okay. Something's changing July and August for you. Ooh, of course that one wanted to flip itself over. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Hold on one second. I apologize for the little Oh, but you know, it's okay because the universe is saying, I just want to shake you up a little bit. I just want to shift you into this happiness that the dolphins are showing up again. Something about dolphins, something about water, utopia, peace, serenity, and paradise are yours. Learning the lessons. It's a lucky time. It, this, this being a seven is saying, yeah, right now the stars are aligning. Reflect. What do you want? And look, it's two dolphins swimming together. Your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine partner in paradise. That's what, that's what spirit's preparing you for. Success here. That castle you've been wanting to build. Uh, this beautiful life, this utopia, your own little world. That's what's happening. Something about the, the July to the end is preparing you for something changing in August. I, let me know as time goes by because that's definitely something there for you, Sagittarius. Now, what about... For your person. Sanctuary. An eight. The same number you started with. Healing and comfort. Faith. Restoration. So your person is healing right now. Finding sanctuary within their own energy. Working on focusing on happiness, joy. Taking their power back. Right? Feeling comfortable again. They're not alone. Focused on happiness. Maybe in their own energy, like in their own cave, right? Finding that peace. Look at this. Manifestation. 11 new beginnings here. Prosperity, fortune, and pure intentions. So your person, this person has pure intentions. 
They're a manifestation master. They're manifesting money, opportunity, growth, fortune. They may be very rich. They may have a castle that they're inviting you to live in. But there's new beginnings here. They have this, I feel like they have this beautiful sanctuary that they live in or that they're creating. And it's, the, it's utopia. It's like what you've always wanted. That's what's happening. Home is where the heart is. That's what Spirit is saying. Home is where the heart is. Things are changing. Okay. They're exploring things. A new portal is opening. Boldness, the unknown, limitless. They're ready to jump into the unknown. Go where no man has gone before. Or at least where they haven't gone before, right? Exploring opportunities. Finding the peace and balance here. Working to manifest these new beginnings. And then it's a it's an awakening. So you see, you got Guy in awakening and they got this awakening. Ancient knowledge, memories, and connection. So they're remembering who they are. Remembering this connection. Thinking about it. Knowledge being revealed to them. Expanding, growing, filling their own cup in their own sanctuary. Maybe they're being a little secretive of what they've got manifesting right now. Because they're waiting for the perfect time. They're exploring options on how to move forward options on how to be successful and and really um you know build this castle in, in the, you know in the sky but bringing that castle in the sky here on earth that's what i'm feeling so they're focused on manifestations growing spiritually perhaps material world their job their health Realizing that their body is a temple and it's something that should be nourished. Exploring um, op opportunity and options to bring themselves into a better state of health. Mind, body, heart, and soul. Okay, and with the beautiful creatures deck, what are each of you working on to manifest separately and then together? So Sagittarius, for you, what do you, what's, what you got? What's manifest in here? What are you working on? What's spirit got for you? Okay. A new quest, a new journey, moving on, moving away from the past, the emotions of the past, finally moving on, taking your power back, right? Deciding, right? Reload could be relocating, a new journey, a new spiritual path, a new path that you will love, moving towards personal dreams and wishes coming true, finally deciding. Oh my gosh, to, to move towards your destiny. I just want to see. Oh yeah, to move towards your destiny. Have hope for this. Look at this. They wanted me to title these all written in the stars and you get the star card, Sagittarius. Yeah, you're meant to be a star. Stepping out in the spotlight. Shining that light. Keep the hope alive. Another eight. So you've got 888 on the board for you. Manifesting your dreams. Feeling very powerful. Healing, destiny. And then you have this King of Swords and Page of Pentacles. So really getting clear, you know, feeling into your heart space, right? Healing the, those emotions, feeling it to heal it, letting go, and then being logical. Mastering your mental body, moving forward with your cup. See, the King of Swords balance with the head and the heart. I'm moving forward with my cup. I got my emotions in check. I got my, my mental body in check. I'm reliable. I'm resourceful. So there's some kind of solid, grounded offer coming your way with that guy in awakening, part of your destiny. It's written in the stars, a new quest, a new path, a new opportunity in the material world. That's what's manifesting for you. So be logical. You know, what do you want? Be curious. Learn something new because that's the page of Pentacles too. Be curious. Be curious about life because it's part of your destiny to move beyond where, where you are and move into something new. And use your mental body. Here, we'll move these cards so you can see them better. To help you make the choice, right? But there's some kind of grounded, stable opportunity coming your way that's working to manifest. What about your person? And also what you're manifesting, Sagittarius, is communication. Perhaps if you're the feminine from a king of swords type energy 
from a very logical, balanced masculine. Okay, what about for your person? Two of Pentacles, being flexible. Okay, see, you got the indecision card, so your person is finding the balance and making decisions, being flexible, realizing that, you know, things need to shift and change, that I, I'm always trying, striving to find my balance. I'm, I have this knowledge and this wisdom in my higher mind, and then I'm, I'm, you know, bringing it into the material world here, speaking my truth. So this could be the opportunity. This, your person coming in and saying, I have this idea I, there's a new path here. See, this can speak of a path, but there's balance coming. Finding the balance. And that blue energy makes me feel like I want to communicate with you about this fruitful path. I've done some exploring, and now i found the balance here. Yeah, nine of cups. Satisfaction. Feeling good. Wishes and dreams coming true. See that eight of cups on your side and your person's like, I got your nine of cups, baby. It's right here. I'll make sure you're satisfied. I'll feed you grapes. Pour you that glass of wine. <laughs> so I feel like dreams are coming true. Your person is manifesting their own personal dreams and wishes by filling their own cup, right? Having this grand awakening purifying themselves and it's like part of your wish fulfillment too is that this person finds balance and feels good that was part of you've been wishing for that um, and that's a beautiful wish to have for someone right uh eight of wands a message yeah they're they're ready i feel like they're getting ready to communicate or they're waiting for this message to come in so they can they're being flexible they're they're anticipating this forward movement this can be travel as well a message that's sweet with that little cupcake. So giving you a message that's sweet, that's satisfying. I will satisfy your cravings. <laughs> I'm hearing. <laughs> you can take that as it resonates, okay? So they're ready to satisfy. They're satisfying their own cravings. And then I feel like they're, they're offering. They're going to offer something sweet here. There's a sweet offer coming in. And the underlying energy of what's manifesting for you both, okay? I've been taking three cards at the bottom. It is Page of Cups, so new energy, opportunity, could be apology if you feel like that's necessary. Um, if that's not necessary, it's just newness. It's it's purity, look, purified. A newness in love, a new idea, a, a younger energy coming through, a more youthful approach, new beginnings, inventiveness, curious, right? A new path that you'll love opening up, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So the Queen, right? You're manifesting abundance, prosperity, good health, good fortune. By taking charge, putting in the work, Queen of Pentacles puts in the work, very ambitious, successful business person, right? Successful running your household, being a divine mother. That's the Queen. So there's abundance coming in for this connection and it's, it's filled with love, empathy. An offer you will love this this night coming in and saying here here's the path that you will love here's this opportunity I want to share my love with you romantic beautiful sweet sensual love a very empathetic person coming in you're very empathetic it's like you're finding the balance here there's a message of love coming in I feel like you know I feel like intuitively you know Beautiful, beautiful, abundant energy coming your way with this connection and in your life that you're manifesting together. This opportunity to share love, to be abundant, both very compassionate people. And your final message here, Sagittarius, is throat chakra, express your truth. Seven, yeah, this Right now, in this energy, it is a good time. The stars are aligning for you to spread your wings, communicate, and speak your truth. Express yourself. Get clear with what you want. Be open to the communication that's coming in. Someone is going to express their truth. What's yours? Are you ready? 
because this is part of your destiny. Look at all these beautiful stars. The stars are aligning for you to express yourself, for your person to express themselves. Get ready for this communication because it's coming. If you want to dive a little deeper, please reach out to me. I'm here for you. I appreciate the love and support on my channel, sharing, subscribing, liking, all that good stuff. And I'm wishing you all many blessings.